this is Jeff Cohen and I'm going to do a demo of how to use the scope web application as well as the scope Chrome application to update a product listing for the example today we're going to use this listing the product is listed as a fruit core and wedger it has a fairly poor listing a few photos uh, bad bullet points and we're going to see how we can use the scope application to improve this listing. The owner of this product is identifying the fruit core and wedger as his primary keywords. Um, we find this by it being the main words within his title. So under the logic of the seller, we're going to look up the fruit core and wedger. When I look up the fruit core and the wedger, I have my scope data down here in the corner, which I can see, which is going to give me the ability to watch products and to see information about the products, their rank and their estimated revenue, uh, estimated sales and number of sellers on the product. But for right now, we're going to hide this and we're going to look for a competitive product to what I am selling. So the first competitive product to what I'm selling is this Apple Slicer Core and Wedger. We're going to click on this product and take a look at what it has to offer. When we get into this product, we see uh, that it again has a fairly poor listing, um, but we're going to look and see what Scope can tell us about this product. Now, what Scope is able to tell us on the product detail page is all of the keywords that the product is ranking for as well as a product fee calculator and information about the product including sales per day and a 30-day profit estimate to get a more accurate profit estimate you can enter in your cost of goods to know how much the product is and you'll see that your estimates change based on the change of your cost of goods but what we're looking for right now is to understand that the apple slicer is the most important keyword that this product is selling for so we're going to go take a look at what amazon has for apple slicers when i look on the list of apple slicers i'm going to get again scope to give me a bunch of information about all of the listings that are currently on the page i have the ability to click on the binoculars to begin watching the different products on this page. So you can see that these binoculars are blue, meaning that I've already chosen to watch these products. At this point in time, what I'm most interested in is the top listing on this page. Now, what I'm gonna show you, you can do repeatedly for numerous products listed for the Apple Slicer. Once scope comes up for the apple slicer that we were looking at, we can now see that this is a product that is ranking for a lot of these terms. And as we scroll down, we see all of the terms that this product is currently ranking for. What I would like to do at this point is actually download the keywords from the CSV. This is going to put a file onto my computer, which I'll open up with Excel. Once the Excel file is open, you'll see that all of the information we had within Scope is now available to you within the Excel document. We're going to come back and use this information again for something else, but for right now, we're going to delete all of this extra information. What I'm most interested in is the keywords and updating my backend keywords on Amazon. So what I'm going to do is highlight column A. I'm going to go to the data tab and I'm going to move the text to columns, do a delimited by space, and you'll see that it will separate all of the keywords on this list. I'm then going to copy and paste all of the keywords onto a single list so that I can remove duplicates. This does take a couple of seconds of your time to do. And you will want to repeat this 
for each product that you're looking at. The goal is to fill up all 5,000 keywords on your backend keywords based on the keywords that your competitor is using to rank for their product. This is going to give you the best chance to rank for more terms on Amazon. And by using your competitor's information, you'll be able to see exactly which words are important. After I've added everything to one column, I highlight that column and I move to the top to remove duplicates. You can now see that after all duplicates are removed, I have around 57 words. About 100 words will equal around 1,000 characters. So I'll need to do this again a couple of times with other competitive products to fully complete my backend keywords. I'm now gonna go into edit my product information and into my keywords tab. And I will copy and paste the keywords from this spreadsheet into my backend keywords until I fully fill up all five tabs. You can see this process is pretty quick. We've done this all in about a minute. And that is how we use the data from scope to fill in backend keywords.